Hi, I'm Adam Miller, teaching professional at Kingsway Country Club. I'm here with member David Kessler, and we're going to explain Rule 14-1B, which pertains to anchoring the putter. On January 1st, 2016, this rule is going to take effect, prohibiting a stroke made in which a direct anchor point is made during a putting stroke. Mr. Kessler is going to demonstrate what a direct anchor point actually is. The first one, that is a very common anchor point, is when a stroke is made in which the butt end of the putter is pressed directly into the belly. This means that the butt end of the putter is not moving while the putter head is. This stroke is going to be illegal according to Rule 14-1B on January 1st, 2016. Another, another stroke that's going to be prohibited is where the anchor point is created against the chest. Now, the putter, head, uh, the putter itself is not touching his chest, but his hand is. This is a direct anchor point. You can see there, again, his putter is anchored. The head will flow freely, but the butt end will not. That's going to be prohibited on January 1st, 2016. The last one that's considered a direct anchor point is where the anchor point is created at his chin. Again, the butt end of the putter is anchored, the head's flowing freely, this again will be prohibited. This rule gets a little bit confusing when the, it states that an indirect anchor point cannot be created using the forearm. Mr. Kessler is going to demonstrate what an indirect anchor point is. When you take this stroke where the putter is near the chest, you can see here, even though the butt end of this putter is not touching his chest, his forearm is. His forearm here. I can't get my arm here. There's an anchor point being created. When he makes the stroke, this point is considered anchored because the butt end of the club, again, is not moving. This, this is also going to be a stroke that's prohibited when Rule 14-1B takes effect on January 1st, 2016. What we'd like to do now is show you some of the options you're going to have when this rule does take effect. The first option you're going to have is to go back to a traditional length putter. When you go to this putter, you have a few options as to how to hold on to the putter. A traditional putter, a traditional putting stroke is where the right hand is lower, your arms are hanging freely from your shoulders, and the putter moves back and forth like this. Another option for a right-handed golfer would be left hand low or cross-handed. Again, my arms are free from the body, making a free stroke. Another option is a claw grip in which the right hand goes on top of the putter. Again, my arms are hanging freely from the body. Now, when you do make a stroke with a shorter putter or even a longer putter, you are allowed to anchor your elbows, not your forearms, to the body. If I make a stroke here where my elbow is touching the body and the butt end of the putter and the putter head are flowing, that is considered a legal stroke and will be allowed after this rule takes effect. If you don't want to go to a short putter like this, you can still use a long putter with a couple of different variations. Mr. Kessler here is going to demonstrate again what would be considered legal strokes after this rule. Here, he's using the same style in which you can create an anchor point, but you can see now there is space between his arm. This is also not connected to his body. You can see here that it's free. When he makes that stroke, the butt end of the putter and the head of the putter are both flowing freely back and forth. Okay. Another option that we're going to have is that when he does make a putting stroke with the putter anchored to his forearm like this, this is going to be legal because as he makes this stroke, the putter itself is actually flowing freely. This is not considered an anchor point. There's another variation of this in which he can press his, arm, his hand to his forearm, not the core of his body, but his forearm. That's also going to be considered a legal stroke. Another option you're going to have is counterbalanced putters, which are a long putter like this in which there's heavier weight in the putter at the, at the butt end of the club. When you make that stroke, you can make a, take a traditional stance and a traditional grip and make the free-flowing stroke with no anchor point created between the butt end of the club and the body. These are just a few options that you're going to have when this rule does take effect. If you'd like to look up the rule, you can go to usga.org or you can look me up at adammillergolf.com.